Right, welcome everyone. This is Anna Runyon, and I am here today with Love Your Career Formula member Vicki Chapman because we're sharing a success story to inspire all of you guys. Vicki recently got a job at a startup that does AI, and she is a customer success manager. She's moved through Love Your Career Formula very, very well, which is why I wanted to interview her today. So, thank you so much for being here, Vicki. Thank you for having me. Awesome. So, let's dive in. Tell me about the beginning of your job search, kind of like what was going on, what fears were you facing, what were you thinking before you joined Love Your Career Formula? So um, I was working in a job that I loved as a project manager, and we had a little bit of a heads up that uh, the opportunity was going to come to an end. Um, so I had started like trying to build out my LinkedIn profile, my resume, um, but at the same time I was feeling kind of stuck. Um, and finding the loving your career formula was terrific. It it um, it allowed me to sort of get out of this um, this mindset that I am just a project manager, and um, just gave me all the right questions to ask myself um, to get me just past the you know what are my um, my skills, what are the things that I've done recently to really think more about um, what do I like to do. What are, what, are, what are the most satisfying things to help me figure out what that next step was? Awesome. Yeah. So some of the challenges were mindset, it sounds like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it was just, you know, I had in, in, in my head that I was just the same title that I currently had, and it was hard for me to see myself any other way than, than that one title. Interesting. So how was that kind of making you feel at that point? Um, you know, when I started getting um, a couple responses from recruiters, you know, it was exciting to, you know, think that, okay, I put together a, a, a little bit of a profile and a basic resume that, that could get me those responses, but I wasn't excited about those jobs. It felt like I can do that, but it's, it's, there's something missing, and I wasn't able to articulate what that was at first. Exactly. Yeah, so something missing, feeling stuck, and then getting over the the mindset of, of become realizing your potential, it sounds like. Yeah, like, yeah. That next level. Yeah, it was the who am I? And um, I think the, the really enlightening one was thinking about what were those things, and not just in the, the most recent um, job that I had, but even thinking back, you know, five years or 10 years, you know, what were those, those moments that were the most satisfying and that really led me to breaking out of just uh, I'm a project manager. I watch the dates and I scoot things along to, I help people mm -hmm. and I'm invested in my customer's success. And I like working with, with clients. That leads to so much more fulfillment and happiness, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it was just like, yeah, those were really the bright spots of, of all the things that I've done before. And they may be, you know, different job titles all along the way, but um, it was really interesting to write it all out and to find that common thread. Right. So when did you learn about Love Your Career Formula? Um, I started with the, um, the resume boot camp. And um, it, it just seemed like there was so much more um, wonderful content available from, you know, getting to know people on the, the Facebook site and um, looking at some of the older blog entries. So um, when there was an opportunity to, to try out um, the, the larger community, uh, I went for it. So the blog, it sounds like that's where you first learned about us? Yes. Yeah. And then you started with Resume Bootcamp, but realized you needed a little bit more maybe of a career change or kind yes. of out. Yeah. I think it was yeah just just realizing that you know besides tips on networking or sort of the nuts and bolts of what is a, a readable eye-catching resume um, you know those the, the sort of stumbles that I felt myself having in talking to a recruiter and, and saying you know what what was I interested in I go I, I don't know what I'm interested in you know and um, just that idea of knowing myself a little bit more and having that better um, vision for what I was looking for um, seemed like it would be a good idea to to back up a little bit yeah and I bet you we're gonna get to what happened but I bet you that's a huge reason why you did a good job at the interview too because you did that self-reflection and really understood more about what excites you because that comes across yes. in an interview for sure 
Yeah, yeah. If it's just like, oh, if you if you go into an interview and you're just talking about, you know, here's my list of my day to day, and not what gets you in the door every day, you know, the, and and having that enthusiasm about that next opportunity is so important. Exactly. Yeah, enthusiasm. That was an important keyword. Enthusiasm. Yeah. yeah. So, what did you think when you first joined Love Your Career Formula? Um, I, it took me a little while, I think, to, to, um, get that there were people who were sort of starting a, a business, um, as well as, as people who were trying to figure out what that next career step is, what, um, what their, what their path was. Um, and, uh, you know, it was also, um, kind of eye-opening to see that there was people who, do all different kinds of stuff. I think I had in my head that I found you on the internet, so this must be like technology people. <laughs> but to find out there was, you know, people in, um, you know, interested in different roles in HR, different roles in technology, um, you know, all sorts of different things. People like selling their own services and and goods. It, it uh, again sort of expanded my idea of of career. Yeah, you can be anything. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I remember you saying you started with the Dream Career Launchpad. Is that what you uh, it, it started with yeah with the resume boot camp, and then when I when I um, when I joined the community, I started with the phase one um, with the Dream Career Launchpad, and went through the first um, couple of modules there, and and that was just again like the, getting that that history together of. Um, things that that I had enjoyed working on before um, was really exciting. Um, at the same time, I was feeling sort of that pressure of, okay, I've already got this part of the machine running on getting the resume out there. So it probably jumped a little, little bit between phase one and phase two things at the same time. And that's okay. That's yeah. a benefit that you have. You do have access to both of them. So you kind of, kind of like do yeah. at the same time, but that phase one is really important. So I'm glad yeah. you spent time. What did you learn in that in that very beginning section then? Um, I think in the, the very beginning, uh, I was looking back at, at some of my notes, and I think um, having that, that uh, discipline of setting those goals for myself um, week to week was, was really important. Um, you know, part of my job search, I had been, you know, um, both employed and trying to you know apply for for new jobs and then uh, once the job ended in december um it was kind of nice to be able to look oh, this is my full-time job <laughs> is looking for the next thing um but it did take that kind of discipline and um setting up those those goals and keeping myself on track um so so those kind of uh, the time management um, in organizing and um, goal setting were, were all very uh, good and timely advice um, that, that I just that I jumped on. So it was two months then from December to February? Yeah so mid, mid December um, and then yeah it, then it was hard with the holidays and everything and, and people's uh, availability was a little uh, a little less um, but uh, yeah I think once I had um, once I'd made a few key changes, and a lot of it was really linked to that, um, that sort of that elevator pitch, uh, knowing myself because I could do that in, in person, um, networking um, kind of events that I pushed myself to go to, um, as well as um, putting that at the at sort of at the top of the resume, you know, like replacing that the the objective statement that a lot of resumes used to have with the, you know this is this is me this is what. I'm looking for and and um, getting across that enthusiasm again, just right at the right at the top. Um, I felt made a really big difference in the number of responses that I was getting. Yeah, you took action, like you followed the modules and took action right away. It sounds like. Yeah, yeah. It was just like even a little thing. It was like, okay, it doesn't have to be by this the way it's the set schedule is on on the website. It's like I can use this today. <laughs> There's nothing stopping me. Flexible. <laughs> so when did you decide to like make the commitment to dive in and really do this? Um, I think it was in in December. You know, I just um, uh, you know, I thought uh, it was a little nerve wracking, like you know, just to make that investment in myself. Mm -hmm. um, but it just felt like a, a good fit. That the content was was speaking to me, 
And so it was really, I thought, you know, this is, this is a part of it, right, is investing in myself. Right. Um, and uh, I got so much more out of it than, than I'd even really initially, like, thought I might. Um, it was, it was just really, really wonderful. So yeah, about December was when I really, um, dove in and, um, you know, my, my family would come home and I'd be on the computer and taking notes and pausing the video and, and catching up with, with my worksheets. Um, and they, so they thought I was working. <laughs> <laughs> you are working on that. I'm working on that. I'm working on that, that job. <laughs> well, that's kind of why we designed it that way too. It's kind of, it is kind of, it's work, but it's fun work because you're, you can tell you've grown so much too, and you can tell that you you've gotten com more confident too, and you can speak and clearly like you know sh show how much you've grown and changed. Yeah. So we're totally proud of you here at Love Your Career Formula. Um, so what do you think life would have been like if you had not decided to commit to Love Your Career Formula? I think I probably would have gotten to a point where I'm just going to take the first job opportunity that comes to me, and I probably would have. Uh, ended up with another project management role that I could do, but um, probably wouldn't have those um, growth opportunities um, that that um, that I was hoping for, or that that same kind of connection. I mean, there was definitely a couple things that I interviewed for that that I can do this with my eyes closed, but it's not me. Right, um, it's something you could have done, but it wouldn't have helped you grow. Right, right. Awesome. So you committed to the plan and found something. Tell us, tell us the results now. This is the yeah, so, um, so after, yeah, so after like uh, looking at different um, roles um, that, that fit more of those things that really move me, that motivate me, I started um, looking, I was already working as a project manager in a larger customer success organization. Um, but I started looking at the specifically at the customer success manager role, which was nice because it was it was sort of not an entirely lateral move. It was like I could I by working in that same department, but just as a small piece of it, definitely vocabulary. So I can use a lot of the skills I currently have while also looking to take on new challenges um, in those areas that I hadn't worked in before. Um, so that really changed just looking for a whole other set of different roles, um, identifying those spots where I could immediately contribute and those areas that were going to be um, new, exciting challenges for me. Um, so that, that having that focus was, was terrific um, and also led me to a really great um, recruiting firm in this area um, who I also learned a lot from. Uh, they, uh, as preparation for some of the phone screenings, they have you write a pitch about the company that you're interviewing with. So it was kind of um, interesting to take it from the personal pitch to writing, I'm going to pitch the company and how you speak about it. Um, it was just really a great exercise to go through. You know, it's like you might be able to give the, the same blurb that you saw on LinkedIn about the company, but to really, to be able to pitch it back to them that I think this is what you do was really great. That's a good idea. So yeah. what are you most proud of since you started and this whole journey? Um, I, I think I'm, I'm, I'm really proud that um, I, I stayed true to my values more so than I have in careers past and, and really looked for something that was a fit for me, not just from title or salary or location or anything, but just that opportunity to grow in those areas that I really care about in serving um, customers in um, you know, joining a company that has you know, some processes laid out and other ones where I can really help build them. Mm -hmm. um, and you know, sometimes I'll, I was, I've been starting to look at some of the content in phase three and the imposter syndrome one. <laughs> and and I'll, I'll have, a, uh, I'll, I'll, working through that, you know, it, uh, I'll, I'll have those, those moments where I think maybe, maybe I took too big a step but then I'll work my confidence back up and it's like, no, this is the right, this is the right place to be. I'm doing okay. Yeah, it's, all, it's a little scary when you're doing something uncomfortable and new, but that means you're in the right spot. I yeah, think. yeah. I think it's just being comfortable with the new uncomfortable. Yeah, and I love it. I love it too that you're using all different of the phases too. Like you, you got the job and now you're using that phase three and the leadership and then learning about the imposter syndrome and there's so much that yeah. comes to that too. 
Yeah, definitely. Yeah, having that sort of the 90 day on the, the new job and that that really helped to uh, get some like key to do things in these in this first two months that I've that I've been here. Um, some things are a little more challenging, like, you know, it's it's a very new place. It's a new department for them. So there's not um, a, a mentor within the same company. So but it but it's really it's that principle of looking for that mentor in it and it's it's not that they have to be somebody who's been in the exact same role or in that company. I can um, definitely looking forward to continuing with the networking and finding a, a mentor that way. Um, and and it, I think, you know, maybe it's not even that somebody has to be in the exact same industry um, or anything, you know. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's the exciting part. You're now in the exciting part. <laughs> so I'm excited <laughs> for you. Yeah. Do you have any like last words of wisdom for someone who's just starting or thinking about starting Limber Career Formula? Um, it's it's going to be uncomfortable at times, but it's so worth it if you work through it and you, you're capable of it. Yeah. You know? And you're capable of learning more about yourself and valuing yourself and that next person that you talk to, whether it's for an informational interview or, um, or a job interview, they'll, they'll feel that from you. Yes, definitely. Yeah, that positivity definitely comes across. Did you do a lot of informational interviews too? Um, at, at another uh, phase in my career, um, I had, I had um, tried some informational interviews. I was working in, um, in software development and I had a, for a while I had an interest in getting into the video game industry um, as well as so some hesitations because it's, it's you know, very uh, male dominated and you read all sorts of scary articles, but I pushed myself there and had gone on a couple of informational interviews and, uh, and that was really exciting. Just it, there was something really nice about um, it not being a job interview that you know, I'm here to learn about you um, and you're still showing that kind of en enthusiasm, but it's a different, a different way to, you know, date before you make a commitment, I guess. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here, Vicki, and for sharing thank your you. with us. I wish you nothing but the best now in phase three of Love Your Career Formula. Maybe we'll have to follow up with you after <laughs> you <laughs> see the Great. results that you have, you know, in your new job now. Yeah, I'm, it's it's been very exciting, and, and yeah, and, and the phase three content has been uh, just also really exciting, and and um, it keeps me going. <laughs> awesome! Thank you, and congratulations. Thank you so much.